Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just like you said. I mean, you know, you said it best. You know, just being patient and 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 just doing doing what's expected of you is just it's just key. You don't have to keep going back. Um, so yeah, you said it best. Yeah. And, uh, you know, to, to make this really applicable in today's environment and what we are faced with, uh, we're faced with a lot of uncertainty today. We don't know what the next few weeks look like. We don't know what tomorrow looks like. We don't know what next year or the next next few months look like. There's been a lot of uncertainty with within organizations across various industries, uh, you know, every industry every organization has been somewhat impacted by, you know, what's, what's been going on the last couple of years. Um, and this is the real our reality. Um, there's going to be curveballs thrown at us and we may become impatient. I mean, someone might be listening right now and, you know, they're in an organization and they were slated for a promotion back, you know, before the pandemic hit. And, you know, the organization just cut off 25% of the staff or, you know, slimmed down on the leadership roles. And now mm -hmm. it looks like growth is going to take longer. Um, so, you know, we, we need to adjust in, in this type of situation. You know, we, we may want things to progress more quickly or, or know what's going to happen next. But the reality is we don't know. Um, and I, I think it's, it's very critical for us to, to, you know, it's, it's really kind of hard to block out the challenges that come with uncertainty, but I think it's it's continuing to push forward, giving a, our 150% in everything that we do as if there is no uncertainty, if you know what I mean, that that you are going to get the position, you are, you have that confidence that you're, you're going to do it your best, aside from what challenges the organization um, or your work environment is going through. Yeah, Cameron, I think you just nailed something that I think is something that I have seen that is actually frustrating me a lot with a, a lot of young leaders, you know, that I've seen since COVID has happened is that we've ha I've seen a lot of leaders, especially that, you know, I've, you know, worked with, interacted with um, that have desires to grow. Right. They, so they desire to grow. This COVID time has put a lot of people in a position where um, there's a lot of jobs out there, but not necessarily leadership jobs, gr you know, major growth opportunities out there. So people are stuck in maybe in a position uh, a little longer or maybe a lot longer than you had hoped. You had hoped you would have gotten promoted by now. But the mistake that I have seen and the mistake that I have had, I've been talking to people about is just because that promotion didn't happen does not give you permission to to start slacking off and getting and getting lazy in your in your uh, being persistent. Um, so many people have I've talked to recently and especially young leaders that were like, you know, I was supposed to have been promoted, you know, a year ago and it hasn't happened. And this is kind of getting redundant. And I don't feel like it, you know, how much longer I can do this. And, you know, you start showing up late for work and you stop you, you stop putting that quality work in there. And that's where this whole thing comes down to with patience is that even when things get a little complicated or maybe they're a lot complicated, that nothing good comes from not being patient. You end up making an irrational decision. Maybe you leave the company. Maybe you run off and go do something, um, something else. Just recently, I knew somebody who completely changed industries and absolutely has upended their, their life simply because they were unwilling to be patient for a season. And, and just because things are not going necessarily, necessarily the way you want them to right now does not give you permission to slack off or get lazy or to not keep the persistence of doing good work. Because guess what? People are still looking at you. People are still evaluating you. And when those opportunities do come, you don't want to be passed over. You still want to be standing there ready to go. Yeah, so right, Travis. And you never know, it may lead you on to to switch industries or yeah. start your own business, you know. Do do something that out of the box that um, that you would probably not do before the pandemic. You know, is there a dream that uh, of yours that has 
sparked an interest of maybe, oh, I can try this out. Maybe, maybe you know, the, the corporate world is, is, not, is not for you as you probably don't see growth over the next, you know, three to five years. So it might be best to maybe start something of your own. You never really know what opportunities may come up for yourself or what ideas you might come up with. Maybe that company was just not the right fit for you. And probably it's best that you didn't get that promotion because it's going to lead you to, you know, maybe start your own, uh, own business. You never know. Yeah. I mean, honestly, my, my opinion for what it's worth on this is to say, if you're on, if you have found yourself in a career or in a job that you were unwilling to be patient and you were starting to see it affect your ability to, to focus affect your ability to do good work. It's probably better that you move on to something else than to stay with it because it's, it's destructive of your career. Um, but I think during this time of COVID as where everything's still being sorted out, everything's still kind of up in the air. I think that right now calls for more patience. Yeah, Travis. So, so here we have some, some things to really help you during um, during these times of, of uncertainty um, is identify what is making you feel important. I think that's so critical. Is it your passion for a certain industry? Is it a passion for making money? Is it a passion for helping others? What What is making you feel important? And then check in how you're doing physically. I think that's really important, especially with everything that's going on, um, you know, with, with the world today and how things are so uncertain is checking how you're doing physically. And it's so critical to be, be proactive. Um, you know, oftentimes we're, we will react only when things are not going our way or when we make a mistake or when, when we face hardships or whatever that might be. And, you know, in order to avoid that, I think it's a really good idea to be proactive, go ahead and, and start maybe planning your business or while you're in that in that job that you're looking to leave. Um, and, you know, one thing is to also not be ashamed of your worries. Everyone's got worries around um, career jobs, uh, what's going on in the work environment, what's what the question mark behind what the future holds. Everyone has the same worries just about and don't be ashamed of it. You know, be open with people that surround you, your mentor, your inner circle, your bosses, your managers, your colleagues, whatever that might be. And keep in mind that this will pass. One day this will pass. And um, we will get to, I guess, what they're calling, Travis, a new normal. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I, I like I liked that, you know, that last statement you made is, you know, this too shall pass. And that's something we should always remember. And especially as leaders is that we have a responsibility to, to, to be dealers of hope, right? We're supposed to be the, the, the ones giving that, uh, that encouragement that things will get better, that whatever the new normal may look like in the future, uh, you know, w we have to bring a hope that it actually may be better than the old normal. Um, so absolutely. So those are definitely some keys to uh, helping us be patient. Yeah. And I, and I think the, the reality of this is, is, uh, you know, I took this uh, one comment from a Forbes article that, that I was reading this morning was, you know, control what you can and relinquish the rest. You know, oftentimes I've seen leaders just, just in general, young, old experience season. Um, you know, we often worry about stuff that we have no control over. And so yeah. we get worried, stressed, and uh, we get impatient. We don't know what the future is. And I think in, in this sort of time that we're in is, really can control and worry about what you have control over and the rest will sort it all out. Um, let others take care of that. Um, yeah, I got a friend, I got, I got a good friend who always says, you know, if, if it's not going to matter in 10 years, it's not worth worried about, you know, be very intentional about what you allow to, to, to bother you, to, to rattle you. Um, during these times. Yeah. Well, um, any final comments, Travis? No, I think that just, you know, going back through this, I think that 
Um, the idea of patience is 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 so key. I think it's something that for me personally, I, I, I'm not a, a, an expert at this by, by a long shot, but I have seen the value in it in being willing to have patience to see things through, willingness to have patience to to allow uh, decision clarity to come in certain situations. So I think as a young leader, if we can we can begin to learn uh, uh, about how to how to best uh, how to best control our, our 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 emotions, best to control our mindset, and uh, allow allow ourselves to be patient, we'll be successful. Yeah, I know Charles. I myself a very I'm a very impatient person, um, but I found great value of um, you know throughout the years of being patient. Um, you know, putting your all, living in the present. I think that's, mm-hmm. that's very key, giving it your all. And um, it, it will pay off. I think uh, if you're quick to make a certain decision, you know, whether it's to leave an organization just because you're you just trying to get out of a mess, um, I think it's uh, more valuable to, to take the time and be patient and be methodical um, and not let your emotions get the best of you. Um, you know, these are uncertain times, but as I mentioned earlier, um, this one day shall pass, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, if you don't have anything else, man, let's thank you so much, guys, for joining us on the uh, leadership download this week. If you uh, enjoyed this content, if you uh, found value in, in what we discussed today, I ask you to uh, share, comment, like, whatever is appropriate for the uh, platform you're watching or listening to this on. Uh, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. We've, we're on all those uh, all those platforms. So we, we would be uh, happy to interact with you on any of those uh, any of those platforms. And um, Feel free to like, comment. We, we would uh, like to know what you think about uh, the topic of patience. We thank you guys so much for joining us, and we'll catch you guys on the next episode. All right. See ya.